these not twist tops? <laughs> Do you have? No. You have, Cheers, babe. You don't have a you don't have a beer uh, a bottle opener. <laughs> You've got to have one somewhere. Oh God, I'm scared. No, you can't. You can't twist. Why? Because there's not a twist top. It doesn't twist. That's why you can't twist it. This is a bottle opener. Yeah. There you go. Longest intro ever. Well. Candle lit. Oh, it looks good. I think I may have gotten the better pour. Cheers. Cheers. To a relation. You're supposed to, you can't cheers and not drink it. <laughs> All right, back again. The return of Relationships 101. With your best advice giver, me. Adv advice givers. Advice givers. This is where we fix all of your problems. Every problem in your life, you bring it to us. We to are us. non professionals, but very good advice givers. Very great advice givers, I would say. Fantastic advice. A lot givers, of these advice are going to be like, grow the fuck up. And honestly, <laughs> get over it. Cheers. This is from. <laughs> he said, please keep my name out. <laughs> He says, hey guys, my relationship dilemma is that my girl and I just broke up for the third time in seven years. Done. <laughs> just don't even need to read anymore. All three times have been uh, because of my fault. I keep getting stuck in a pattern that after some time I stop putting effort needed to keep the relationship alive. I'm now in therapy and have realized all three times have happened at a time where my mental health wasn't the best. My question is, should I continue to work on myself and try to get her back for a fourth time or just move on, thanks. Mm. Yeah, it's not as simple as you thought, is it? If it was her fault, it would have been easy. But it's his fault. I forgot part of the question. Can you read it again? Yes. He's going to therapy. He's going to therapy. He's figuring, He's figuring it out. figuring himself out. Taking care of himself. And he realized in therapy that the, right. the times that his relationship didn't work is because he was not doing right mentally. Because he was confused. Because he was confused. Yeah. So now he wants to know, should he do it a fourth time? Should he do it a fourth time? No. <laughs> the reason I personally say no okay. is because I don't know, we don't have context of what the issues were. We don't. So I feel like if it was in a situation where possibly she's been hurt a lot because of things that could be fixed now, that maybe it might not be worth it to do it a fourth time because she's gonna go into it concerned or worried or already kind of on edge but then again relationships you should be able to get through a lot together so yeah this seems like more else. this seems like less of a relationship question and more of a hey i've been going through some shit what should i do question because yeah. i would say right now what you need to focus on uh mr man is yourself stick to therapy Keep asking questions, keep figuring yourself out, make sure you are the best you you can possibly be mm -hmm. before you even think about going back on the dating field at all. I mean, if you're saying it's all your fault, it's a, it's a brave thing to admit, um, then you should keep that in mind before going back out there. Fix what you need to fix, figure yourself out, be you for as long as you can be, and then worry about getting back out there. And if it is with the same person, then you'll think, you know, maybe it was meant to be. And if not, then this part of your life, you just learned a lot from it and you get to move forward. I think it's also important too that you don't jump back into this relationship and then if it doesn't work, you go back and blame yourself mm. again because then you're gonna be okay. like, well, no, it's me, it's me, it's me, it's me, it's me. And all the hard work that I did to move forward in my life, you're gonna go back and blame yourself. So you don't wanna put yourself in a bad situation either where you're gonna feel like you might undo the progress that you've made towards your own future as well, right? Yes. You see what I'm saying? I see exactly what you're saying. So what is our advice? <laughs> Work on himself. Work on yourself. Yeah, yeah. yeah. My girl and I are moving in together later this year. I know I am going to marry her in a few years, but this does scare me a little bit. <laughs> Why'd you just poof? I like to do my own thing. 
and I have my own space. I have my own hobbies that require lots of time and I can see this being a problem when we live together. How do I go about it when she wants to spend time with me all the time and I need some alone time to do my own things? Please let me know what you think. And he said, love you boys, keep killing it. Thanks, man. So what would your advice be? Tell her you need to be alone. Yeah, it's pretty, that, it's pretty much that simple. It's really that simple. We do it all the time. The, 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 what you need to do is like, if you're a loner or if you need your alone time, just say you need your alone time. I mean, because if not, then when you let things build up, that's when people get driven crazy. Yeah. But that being said, you don't want to fall into a habit of only spending alone time because then you need to realize that if you're not happy at all spending time anywhere else but alone, then that's something you need to figure out yourself. But if she's always near you and you're like, hey, I'm trying to build hot, Back hot, off. Hot, hot, hot wheels in the garage. Right. Let me go build hot wheels in the garage. I'm trying to make a highway right now, lady, and you are in my way. Maybe don't say it so aggressively. Maybe but truly, aggressive. we do spend a lot of alone time, even ourselves. A good day, bad day. Sometimes you just need to turn your brain off, and sometimes talking to somebody is just too much. And yeah. both of us understand. Like, yeah. we don't take it personally if it's like, listen, I love you but I need to go upstairs right now yeah. and there's, it's fine. There's time together and then there's time separate. Yeah. And then there's times separate together. And Which we, is my favorite. Yeah, those I are, love separate together. Those are together. our favorite really. Yeah. Sit down, watch a documentary, not talk to each other, but yeah. be in the same room or she's working on yep. one thing, you're doing the other. Uh, it's That's probably the healthiest spot to be, but you can do all of it at once and that's, that's what a, an all around relationship is all about. All right, my man. My man, man too. <laughs> Just call me a two. Everyone's saying, don't say my name, so I'm saying my man, man. But you, you can't say man two. Well, I've already had man one. Wouldn't this be man three? Yeah, but the first you guy. You just named the last guy Joe. True. What'd you name him? Man one, then Joe, then this is man two. <laughs> okay. <laughs> the next one gets a name. Yeah. Okay. Uh, I broke up with my girlfriend of two years around Valentine's Day last year. I did not want to. Damn rough. <laughs> I did not want to, but I had so many reasons to do so. And, and she even later said she knew that she deserved it. I then rebounded with my ex that I dated before her. And then my current ex finds out to keep a long story short, short current ex drunks text me to hook up. At first I refuse. Then I agree. And we hang out for about a month straight. Like we used to when we dated, eventually I tell her I want to get back together. She said she wanted to, but she was not ready to forgive me for breaking her heart and then rebounding with my ex that I dated before her. She also said she wanted to experience dating other guys since I was her first boyfriend, but she still wanted to be friends and hook up with me. I declined and cut off comms. Strong fucking man, strong man. We both went. <laughs> A month later, I got high one night and texted her, but she didn't respond understandable. This is about nine months ago. I know I fucked up with the rebound and I should probably keep moving on, but I feel like there's still a chance we can reconcile. I just don't know what to do. Man number two, you got to get it together. <laughs> you got to figure it out. I think this is an all or nothing situation. If this, if you see this girl, girl number one, before you went back to girl number zero. If, if girl number two, because you went back to girl number one, so if girl number two is your everything, if that's, if that's end all, be all, if that's the, the mother of your children, the grandmother of your grandkids, then yeah, get, fucking get on the horse. What? A guy earlier says, marriage scares me. You go, this guy, you're like, if you, if this is the mother of your children, I, if you I, see her making baby bottles at the kitchen I'm sink. That's what I'm saying. I'm trying to be as serious. I'm trying to be as, as extravagant as possible because that's how you have to be in this situation. How old is this guy? I don't know. He that's could why be 16 he, and you're like the mother of your children. He got high, so he's at least 21. Okay. You messed up, but did you mess up? because you needed to mess up or did you mess up because now it's time to kick it into gear and learn about the rest of your life? If everything I'm saying right now is like, uh, no, it's not that serious. If that's even a thought, then just keep going, man. Just keep going. Keep getting high and banging your exes. <laughs> Maybe 
maybe try reading a good book. But yeah, that's what I would say. I would, it, it's, it's, it's either all or nothing here. You have to put all of your eggs into the basket because that's what you're saying. You, you fucked up. Mm -hmm. You are thinking you can reconcile. The only reason to reconcile with someone like this is if that's the one. I've never been in that situation, so I can't even. Mm -hmm. Not on camera. Not off camera either. All right, man too. I hope you got all that. All right, we got one more. One? Oh, uh, well, we can do two more. We can do five more. <laughs> This is great advice. You just love the drama. <laughs> <laughs> no, I just want to know what's going on. All right, this is my man. Man number three. <laughs> man number three. This girl catfished my best friend 10 years ago, back in high school, and I happened to start talking to her without knowing, but I know, but now I know, and should it matter, I'm white and she's black with big boobies. Also, she's only four foot eight, so, is it really worth it? What? <laughs> I mean, I think you're fine. This girl catfished my best friend 10 years ago, back in high school. 10 and years I ago, Pat, to we, start see, we didn't have to deal with catfishing her. in high school because we're elderly. How would you catfish back in our I day? I think what he's saying is yeah, she, used, she used a different girl's picture. 10 years ago. Who cares? That's what I'm saying. If she's four foot eight, if she's four foot eight with big boobies, what are you typing to me for? Get out there. It's time to saddle up. <laughs> what are you writing to me for? This guy has no problem. He's just, all he's doing is bragging. He's got he's just, no issue. There's not a problem here. We're supposed to be giving you advice. I don't know what you guys are doing, but I got a four foot eight, big booby <laughs> black woman that wants me. What do I do? I don't know. What do you want to do? Yeah, I don't. This is probably a troll in the first place, but it sounds like you're. It might not be a troll, though. It sounds like you've got it all together. Right. Maybe Keep he's got doing, it figured out. Keep doing you, man three. This is going to be a good one. I can see it. Hel Man number four. Hello, Hitcher of Rides and Alexis, since you were doing it with her. Really? Yeah. So Did that? they spell my name right? Well, no, they didn't. I've been in a relationship for almost a year now, but known each other for seven. Ooh. Messed around on and off due to living in different countries. Ooh. And would get together whenever I'd be back home. But... She moved to the States and we finally had a chance to really commit, so we did. And now she's moving in with me, which I'm very happy about and looking forward to because this lady might as well be the love of my life. Oh my God, he has no problem either. Well, this is a congratulations. This, this is where it usually takes a turn. All right, <clears throat> I'm ready for the turn. So far it sounds amazing. But I have never lived with my partner before and been living on my own for three years since I left my mom's place. But, I feel it's ready, it's time, and I'm ready for that next step. Uh, I kind of have an idea of what it's going to be like, but this guy is basically just, he's just we've nervous. Got people in, we've got people in good spots. Yeah, this is, these are not bad. These are not problems. You're fine. You're living a note, you're living the movie of The Notebook. Yeah. Actually, The Notebook's a fucked up movie. Fuck that is movie. Is it? Yes. I've never seen it. One dude gets cheated on, and Are he's you the, giving spoilers? And he's the bad guy. To them? The guy who gets cheated on is the bad guy. Think right. about that. You know what? If you ever were going to see The Notebook, you don't have to see it anymore. Yeah. Fuck Ryan Gosling. Not, not you. I don't want to. <laughs> <laughs> You've been on and off with this girl for seven years, and she's living in, he, in a different country, and now she moved to America, and now you guys are moving in together, and you're going to live happily ever after? Damn. I mean, just try it. Thanks for the email. <laughs> Cheese. <laughs> <laughs> Just try it. It'll be fine. Worst thing that happens is it's not fine. And then you move out. And then you move on. And everything's fine. So no matter what you're this fine. This is going to be great, though. It will. You guys have been... I think so, too. You guys have... Yeah, you're good. They say that if you know someone for more... if you're Well, they say this for friends. That if you're friends for more than seven years, you're friends for life. Have you heard that? I have heard that. So I would take that like that. So they've that. been banging for seven years. They're going to be banging for life. I would like. say that's what it sounds like. Well, we did have some dilemmas today, and we did have some people just bragging. 
So just living great lives. Just living amazing lives. <laughs> and uh, yeah, so thank you guys so much for watching this return of Relationships 101. And uh, thank you for subscribing to the Patreon. You guys are the best. The email will be at the end. So send in your dilemmas. Bye. Actual dilemmas. Real dilemmas. Cheers. Cheers. Thank you.